Hello, my name is Ewan. I am the CTO at OpenCRVS and today I'm going to show you how to set up a local development environment of OpenCRVS. So this is how to run OpenCRVS on your laptop computer. So it's not instructions about how to deploy OpenCRVS yet. The first thing we're going to do is check out OpenCRVS core and then we're going to run a command which will install all um, of the yarn dependencies and start up all of the services locally and it will download all of your docker images that you need uh, for the dependencies which run locally. It's not all the docker dependencies you need to deploy to a server, that's an entirely different process. This is about how to get OpenCRVS to run in your local computer for local development and local configuration. And that's an important first step to do first, to make sure that you configure and understand how to run OpenCRVS locally before you consider deploying to a server. So that's an important distinction to make. So you can see that I've cloned out OpenCRVS. Uh, I am on the master branch of OpenCRVS core and the master branch will always be aligned to the latest release. So it's very important that you're on the master branch. If you clone this and you're on a develop branch or a different branch, just type git checkout master and make sure that you're on the master branch before you start. So now that I'm on the master branch, I can run a simple one command and it will download all of the dependencies, the, the, the Docker dependencies of startup OpenCRVS. Now the first thing it will do is it will check to make sure that I've got the um, laptop dependencies installed. So things like make sure that I've got Docker installed, make sure that I've got Node.js installed at the right version, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, um, I, that's all documented in section 3.1.1, install the required dependencies. You must make sure you've completed that before you run this. And you'll also need to make sure that you don't have any node processes running on any ports that OpenCRVS will require. So OpenCRVS will launch a lot of microservices and each one runs on a different port. So if your laptop is using the port for something else, then it will error and you'll have to find out what's running in that port and stop it. Okay, so the command you have to run is simply bash setup .sh. Uh, it will just ask you, have you got enough space on your computer? You need at least 20 gigs of available space. And it will also ask you if you've got enough RAM. You must have 16 gigabytes of RAM available. So the script will take quite a long time. It will check to make sure your dependencies are installed, as you can see. It will stop anything that's running in Docker. It will uh, check that your ports are available. So if they weren't available, it would have erred then, and you would have had to find out what was running and stop it. Then it will um, proceed to uh, download and install all the dependencies. It starts off with Yarn dependencies um, and uh, this can take quite some time, especially if you don't have Docker images already downloaded. So you can expect this script to take 10 to 15 minutes to complete, and depending on your internet connection. At the end of the process, um, you will see a logo. It may ask you to enter your pseudo password. This is just to make sure that Docker has permission to create some folders. So enter your pseudo password on your local computer to get past that point.
At this stage in the process, um, we are now opening multiple uh, terminal windows. This is because we need to run, check out another repository. The repository is called OpenCRBS Country Config, and that is the repository which you will fork and customize for your local country needs. So we can see in one window, um, we have some messaging. In another window, we are running uh, OpenCRBS Core. Uh, that's the top right and the bottom right we are running uh, we're down checking out this country config repository and then we're going to install yarn in that repository and start that server up and the very final step which will happen in the main window is we will then seed the local database with some test data so that we can log in to OpenCRBS. Okay, so that's the end of the setup process. You can see that we can see a OpenCRVS logo, and we now know that OpenCRVS is running locally and is ready to 
to log in with the test user details. You can read about all the test user details in our documentation in section 3.1.4, log in to OpenCRVS locally. But just uh, to show you what happens, let me just open a browser window. Here we are. So I'm going to navigate to localhost 3000 or 3020. Either is fine. 3020 is the login app. Localhost 3000 is the main application, which will just redirect you to 320. I can see the login screen and I can enter in some user details, for example, test registrar K. Mweeni, that's M-W-E-E-N-E, -E -E. and the password is just test for local development. And then uh, you will be asked to enter in a two-factor authentication code. And locally during development, that's just six zeros. Then you'll be redirected to localhost 3000 and you are logged in to OpenCLVS. During the initial uh, first load, a number of dependencies um, are saved into the um, Chrome browser's index DB. So it can take a little bit of time on the first login. The second time you log in will be um, much faster. And that's it. That's how to install and run OpenCRVS locally, and we can proceed to configuration.